بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم My topic today is about cystic retroperitoneal mass lesion, the differential diagnosis, the common causes, less common causes and rare causes with the clues to the differential diagnosis with some examples. The key for differential diagnosis in uh, cystic retroperitoneal mass lesion is most retroperitoneal cystic masses are easily recognized as they are arising from solid organs like kidney, pancreas, adrenal. Cyst mass may be fluid collection like in evolving, evolving hematoma seroma and urinoma. The differential diagnosis, the common causes of uh, retroperitoneal cystic mass lesion include renal cystic mass, and this include renal cyst, renal cystic tumor, and multilocular cystic nephroma pancreatic cystic masses like pancreatic pseudocyst, mucinous cystic neoplasm, serous microcystic cyst adenoma, isolate cell tumor, solid and pseudobabillary neoplasm metastasis. The clues for the common differential diagnosis, renal cyst by the far by far it is the most common retroperitoneal cystic mass lesion seen, and it is account about more than 50% of all adults. Here we see axial CT scan, contrast enhanced CT scan. We have cyst in the left kidney. It is um, no enhancement, water density, and no mural nodule seen in the site in the inside the cyst and it is well marginated and this is oxophotic component and we see the clue sign here indicating that the cyst that the cyst it is renal in origin. Uh, this is an ultrasound long axis of uh, kidney and we see here in the uh, hypocorc mass lesion see in the mid lower ball kidney with acoustic enhancement indicating that it is a cystic in nature. Renal cystic, uh, renal cystic tumor it is a small percentage of cystic, but usually have a mural nodule. And this will exclude simple renal cyst. We should look for a clo clue sign to determine renal in origin. Here we see mass lesion in the right kidney arising from the superior ball of the right kidney we have cystic mass lesion seen with thick wall enhancing wall with the enhancing safety and the mural nodule and, and, and on the mass and this it is consistent with the renal cell carcinoma cystic in nature here another patient with the right uh, kidney mass, we have uh, thick enhancing CT consistent with uh, renal cystic tumor. A multilocular cystic nephroma, it is a complex multi cystic mass with invagination into renal hilum and it is indistinguishable from the cystic renal 
carcinoma and it is has by physic age distribution boys between three months and two years old 90 percent of tumor females it is this than for five years and another week it is in the fifth and sixth decades here we see multi molecular cystic mass lesion in this axial CT scan contrast with uh, multiple CT and enhancing and this is invagination of the uh, renal hilum and this is characteristic of multi molecular cystic lymphoma. Uh, this is the patient with uh, multi molecular cystic nephoma transverse ultrasound of the right kidney and that it is herniated in the renal sinus in that area which is characteristic of multi molecular cystic nephoma pancreatic cirrhosis most common mass especially in symptomatic patient with history of alcohol or alcohol abuse or gall stones here we see a bank contrast axial ct scan uh, with patient with uh, c doses in the neck body of the pancreas and another uh, cyst here in the left baronial area uh, with enhancing a wall and indicating that it is infection and this is here the gallbladder immunocystic neoplasm it is most common cystic pancreatic tumor multi septated mass in the body or tail with the mural nodularity middle age or old older woman here we see cystic mass lesion with large cyst in that region of the tail of the pancreas with the septation and enhancing septation with minimal dilatation of the uh, pancreatic duct upstream pancreatic duct and uh, bank, no pancreatic atrophy noted in this patient and this is proven to be mucinous cystic in your blasm Severus microcystic cyst adenoma it is a sponge or honeycomb appearance of well encapsulated mass much less common than macrocystic variant with fewer and larger cystic spaces as we see here large mass in the region of the pancreatic head with uh, multiple small cysts or honeycomb appearance or sponge appearance due to small cystic spaces associated with uh, calcification here dot of calcification and this is a serous microcystic cyst adenoma other pancreatic uh, cystic mass lesion like uh, islet cell tumor solid and pseudo papillary neoplasm and metastasis Less common causes include adrenal cystic masses like adrenal adenoma. It is a mimic of uh, cystic mass lesion in the vitrobertonial adrenal cyst, adrenal seroma, uh, liquefied hematoma. Other vitrobertonial cystic mass lesion include vitrobertonial seroma, uh, liquefied hematoma, vitrobertonial sarcoma. It can mimic the cystic mass lesion in the vitrobertonial region, vitrobertonial lymphocele, renom urinoma, and vitrobertonial abscess, and lastly, lymphangioma. The clues for less common causes, adrenal adenoma can mimic 
uh, 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 cyst mass lesion in the vitroperitoneal, livid rich adenoma appears near water uh, attenuation in non enhanced CT scan, and, but it is enhancing unlike the simple cyst. Here we see adrenal adenoma mimicking the adrenal cyst, shows water density with solid, but with enhancing after contrast, it is not seen in, uh, in, another, uh, in this patient who, uh, who, and reaching uh, the about 40 Hornsfield unit after contrast enhancement. And this is livid rich adenoma. Adrenal cyst, we have it is water density, no enhancement, no visible wall, no mural nodule noted. We have uh, coronal T2 weighted images, MRI, large cyst in the left adrenal gland. Uh, consistent with the uh, adrenal cyst. Adrenal seroma liquefied, evolving hematoma will become more homogeneous and lower in attenuation. As we see here, patient with bilateral uh, adrenal seroma in non-contrast enhanced CT scan, heterogeneous high attenuation masses in the adrenal gland due to adrenal hemorrhage. And this is, these evolved into water density seromas. And this is the same patient after evolving uh, 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 to several months after 12 weeks via the previous study. Vitroperitoneal seroma evolving vitroperitoneal hematoma following rupture of aortic aneurysm or anticoagulant induced hemorrhage may become homogeneous near water attenuation collection. And it is, we should compare the to prior study uh, history of hemorrhage. Here we see retroperitoneal seroma with the uh, fluid fluid level uh, due to iliosaurus compartment and uh, a patient with uh, uh, on anticoagulant and this is uh, hematoma in the iliosaurus compartment. Another hematoma, liquefied hematoma on the uh, this axial T2 uh, weighted images, MRI in the right perineferic space, compressing the kidney with low signal intensity in the outer rim, as we see here, and surrounding high signal intensity in the inner. Uh, finding are consistent with uh, subacute uh, uh, hematoma. Retroperitoneal sarcoma can mimic uh, the retroperitoneal cystic mass lesion. Myxoid liposarcoma may have near water attenuation on CT scan, but it is solid mass. Lower attenuation in myxoid element or mixture of boldly differentiated fat and other tumor elements. Here we see retroperitoneal sarcoma on axial enhanced CT scan, large, representing as a large mass uh, lesion near water attenuation due, due, due to boldly differentiated liposarcoma with myxoid elements. The mass displacing the urinary bladder here and iliac vessels as in this area. Here, this is another patient with retroperitoneal sarcoma mimicking retroperitoneal cystic mass lesion, and that mass is mostly near or fat, 
density representing liposarcoma and displacement of the retroperitoneal structure, including the white kidney and the ascending colon. Here, another patient with retroperitoneal sarcoma mimicking retroperitoneal cystic mass lesion with foci of fat, as we see here, and soft tissue density and water density here. Representing myxoid or poly differentiated uh, tumor. Retroperitoneal lymphocele, <coughs> lymph cytocyst resulting from surgical disruption of the pelvic or retroperitoneal lymphatics. Seen in the renal and pancreatic transplant, also common seen in after node dissection or reception for prostate or bladder cancer. Here we see a patient with a large lymphocyte on this axial CT contrast enhanced after left nephrectomy and thus large mass in the surgical bed of the left kidney and the patient has before left renal cell carcinoma. Here, this is a retroperitoneal uh, cystic mass lesion with the uh, septation um, causing uh, compression of the transplant kidney, displacing it. On this axial enhanced CT scan. Here, another patient with uh, lymphocele on this axial T2, T2, uh, T, sorry, T1 weighted image after contrast and fat set with cystic mass lesion, cystic mass lesion on the uh, inferior to the transplanted kidney here. And it is consistent with lymphocele. Here, another contrast enhanced T1 weighted images, fat set, and this is a transplanted kidney here, and this is the lymphocele inferior to the renal transplant with partial obstruction of the collecting system <laughs> and causing some dis. Uh, a transplant dysfunction. Urinoma, renal or general retroperitoneal collection of urine following urethral obstruction and disruption of the renal collecting system of ureter. Here we have a large mass uh, on this axial T2 weighted uh, imaging fat sets and high bar intense mass lesion, high signal with very nephric space urinoma pushing the kidney with hydronephotic changes. A few septuy noted and the urinoma is also noted. Here, this is the urinoma on this axial enhanced uh, contrast CT scan water density indenting the left sous muscle and causing dilatation of the, of the left ureter and pushing the kidney here. And uh, this urinoma is occurring after resection of the left colon. This is the same patient with dilated ureter and urinoma after resection of the left, co uh, left colon and that urinoma pushing the kidney with hydronophotic changes. Here, this is a patient with uh, 
large cystic mass and the surgical uh, splenovenal shunt performed because of portal hypertension and cirrhosis and it is uh, above to be a uh, lymphocyte at surgery. And we see the surgical eclipse in that area and the splenomegaly and the varices. This is the same patient with uh, uh, urinoma uh, at the uh, splenorenal shunt area with patient with cirrhosis. Retroperitoneal abscess, complex appearing, may contain gas. Berirenal is most common. Retroperitoneal perforation of of appendix or diverticulitis are also will recognize sources of retroperitoneal abscess. Patient is symptomatic with fever and increased white cell count. We see here this is uh, axial contrast enhanced CT scan with large abscess. In the retroperitoneal uh, region, uh, due to duodenal perforation caused by endoscopic babylotomy and biliary stone extraction. Lymphangioma discrete asymmetric, uh, asymmetrical water or less than water density mass lesion. Many Sensitization is also noted with calcification with or without calcification. Very soft is the indented by uh, adjacent vessels. Here we see this lymphangioma and this axial enhanced CT scan, large mass cystic uh, water density displacing the abdominal and retroperitoneal structures, the presence of a small calcification suggests thin septi. A rare but important causes cystic retroperitoneal mesothelioma, lymphangiolyomyomatosis in the retroperitoneal region, tail gut cyst, Necrosis of solid tumor, pseudomyxoma, retroperitonei. The clues for rare causes cystic retroperitoneal mesothelioma, much less common than the pleural and peritoneal mesothelioma, maybe unilocular. Lymphangio. Lyomyomatosis in the retroperitoneal. It is a, a proliferation of smooth muscle cells within the lymphatics, causing obstruction and mass lesion. Here we see patient with lymphangiolyomatosis on this axial contrast enhanced CT scan. We have uh, this patient uh, about 53 years old. A uh, man uh, with a separated uh, cystic mass lesion in the uh, in the retroperitoneal and lisa sac region and uh, left gastric uh, artery indents the mass and it is uh, the lesion it is of, of soft uh, consistency. Another patient with lymphangiolyomyomatosis on this axial contrast enhanced CT scan shows a contiguous cystic separated retroperitoneal mass lesion surround the pancreas and celiac axis with no obstructive signs or symptoms. Tail gut cyst, it is found in the retrorectal or presacral space, maybe either unilocular or multilocular 
mass cystic mass lesion seen filled with mucoid material which may be echogenic in the on ultrasound. Here we have multilocular cystic mass lesion seen, and this is the rectum, and this is a sacral region pushing the rectum and the bladder. And the differential diagnosis also include duplication cyst, but at the operation it is a tail gut cyst, not approved to be. And this is the same patient with uh, MRI. Yeah. And this it is non enhancing uh, cyst mass lesion with uh, multiple safety tail gut cyst. Necrosis of solid uh, neoplasm, any retroperitoneal tumor may, ha may be hypovascular or necrotic enough to simulate cystic mass lesion. Cedomyxoma retroperitoneal may occur in isolation without intraperitoneal disease. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.